Culture Club, brought to you by Hanum, the freshest bottled water made in Guam. Afide Guawsi Pejublas. Um, I currently work at the University of Guam Mark Library under the UOG Press. Jangin Taigutu Ki Setsohu, Jagutu Sampu Di Lanchu, Za Kamakantazu Ki Finosumo. I sing and write Chamo music, and um, I think my passion for all of that uh, originally just stems from. Um, you know, growing up in a very Chamorro environment, uh, you know, I grew up uh, with my dad, you know, taking me to the ranch and all of that stuff and teaching me how to farm. And I guess over time, too, I, I've started to develop that passion for myself without feeling like a force to uh, have to do it or anything. But um, uh, writing music and uh, music in general, that's always just been a part of me, you know. Uh, always loved Chamorro music and um, when I finally learned how to like speak Chamorro, I started to um, try writing music in Chamorro. And you know, I, I think I wouldn't even have wanted to learn Chamorro had I not been brought up in um, you know like the lancho environment, like uh, like the one that my dad had raised me in. I, I think my earliest memory was even um, uh, messing around with the pigs, right, with my dad. So yeah, probably ever since I was a baby, you know, I've been around animals and. Uh, my dad speaking to my grandparents in Chamorro and all of that. So very much submerged in the culture, always trying Chamorro food and all of that. Um, so yeah, up to now, you know, uh, 24 years old. And, and uh, like I said, you know, instead of instead of um, going to the ranch and seeing that as like a chore or anything like that, I've, I've uh, eventually developed the passion to just do it recreationally, you know. As far as uh, singing Chamorro music, that as well, you know, it, it gives you pride to, to uh, to be Chamorro in general, you know, no matter which island in the Marianas you're from. Um, because, you know, we grow up listening to Chamorro music and, um, you know, the classics, J.D. Crutch, KC, and all of that. And, uh, to be able to write music and kind of have the ear of the newer generation and, you know, just to throw a little more uh, genres into the mix of what Chamorro music is, uh, man, it's like, it's, it's incredible too, you know, uh, to know that you can do cool stuff like that. And, People don't even know tomorrow, but like the certain sound of music, they'll uh, you know they'll attach to it. To be Lancheru, uh, I think definitely anybody can do it. And and the only thing that it starts with is the person themselves. You know, uh, no matter what your limits are, uh, no access to land or anything. I believe that if you have that certain drive in you, something will make you do something to. Uh, somewhat coincide with what it is to be a lancho, right? Uh, writing Chamorro music, you know, that that's something that, you know, will take a lot more uh, time and effort, you know, because you have to learn the whole language. and um, It doesn't only stem from Chamorro music, you know, you got to know how to uh, incorporate, I guess, other styles of music and then your own creativity into it too. So um, once you develop that, you know, certain creativity for um, the type of music you want to sing, uh, and you learn the Chamorro language, man, it, it kind of just meshes together. So uh, I guess you just have to work into, you know, learning the language. And if you can already speak Chamorro, I think, man, you can, you can write Chamorro song. You see, you know. So I, I think that um, for the next generation uh, or this current generation to have that idea that, you know, are we doing enough shouldn't even be a, a question to us. Uh, I, I believe that there's never enough culture to practice. Um, because I, I think that when we say that, okay, we're doing enough, that, you know, stops us from being motivated to want to learn more. And um, yeah, so I, I think that we can definitely do more as, as far as uh, cultural practices. Um, however, at the same time, I believe that uh, to each Chamorro who does even just a little bit uh, of cultural stuff in their life, uh, if that's enough to them, then I think ultimately that, that should be what matters because um, I think we just want our people to be content, you know, with themselves. And once you start to be content with yourself, then before you know it, you, you don't think of uh, practicing your culture to be a struggle, you know, or uh, am I doing enough of it because we just end up doing it, you know. Culture Club, brought to you by Hanum, the freshest bottled water made in Guam.